So it's Andrew again. I'm doing a, a tutorial video today about recoveries. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is teach you how to send the recovery, uh, write the recovery to the phone, and then the next is going to actually go through the recovery and show you all the available options on the phone. Um, this for right now I'm going to use a Clockwork Mod recovery. Uh, my personal preference is actually uh, Team Win, which I have kind of briefly shown in another tutorial video but to show you how to write it to the to the device I'm gonna actually just use this for now because it was a available image that I found uh, to like easily found on the internet first thing you want to do is actually move this um, file to your SDK and you're gonna need to actually put it in that platform tools file let's see so I'm just gonna go SDK platform tools and just drag and drop it. Now you can actually just mount the USB and uh, copy it over to the USB that way but I figured I'd teach some ADB commands on how to do this as well. Now I named the, the file recovery uh, um, sorry hyphen Kang dot image. So I'm going to now send it to the SD card on the phone. Um, what I need to do now is change the directory in here to actually go to my Android SDK. And then now I'm going to write the ADB commands to push the file to my SD card. So recovery tang dot image to SD card. Takes a little bit. And you get that file transfer rate so you know it's actually successful. So now we need to go into the shell. And now I'm in root level and I have write permission. Actually Actually, no, I don't. Actually, I'm going to make sure I have right per permission. I'm going to go back and ADB remount. So then go back into the shell. And the command for this, once you're there, you're going to go flash underscore image recovery SD card and then what you name the file. So recovery Hang uh, image. All right, and then to show you the recovery, I'm going to walk you through it. Uh, reboot recovery. And my phone is going to reboot into the recovery now. This will be a clockwork recovery. So, now you're going to need to find a recovery specific to your phone because, um, depending on what available buttons, it's going to be how it's going to be ported to your device. So, right now, because I'm running a clockwork recovery, my power button up top here is actually my select button, and my volume buttons over here are going to be like um, to scroll. So, one of the options you have is to reboot the into the phone. Um, you can apply an update zip. This is you'll probably never actually end up using it. Uh, wipe slash factory reset, and that's going to bring up a menu so that you can actually wipe your information before you flash a new ROM. That's probably it's highly recommended for most ROMs. I get especially if you're going for like this is a sense phone, HTC phone, you're going from a sense-based ROM to an AOSP ROM like uh, CyanogenMod or just um, um, or any AOSP based ROM, you're going to want to wipe data, wipe your data slash factory reset device before you flash it, as well as you're going to want, want to wipe your cache partition, which is the next option. Um, 
with flashing anything, I would highly recommend going into this advanced option and wiping your Dalvik cache. That's going to be your, you're going to want to do that for every single ROM that you flash. Um, it doesn't wipe any of your data, so if you're just upgrading your ROM, that's it, it's not going to touch your, your settings or anything like that. Um, install zip from SD card. Once you've loaded your ROM into the SD card, this is going to be how you uh, flash the, the ROM. Uh, backup and restore. This is your backup options. You can do a full backup, uh, restore from a backup, a previous backup, and then advanced restore will allow you to just pick certain parts of your backup that you want to restore. Um, it's not going to work for everything, so just FYI. Mounts and storage. Uh, this is going to allow you the pretty much the useful thing on the bottom is going to be here mount USB storage let's say you messed up and didn't really have your ROM on your device but you formatted your system and everything and you actually have nothing to boot into now uh, you can actually mount your USB storage and as long as when you're connected to a computer copy a file into your SD card so that's like kind of, it's good that they added that option just in case, otherwise you'd be SOL without a uh, an R R U U or uh, whatever your phone manufacturer uses as to, to um, fully restore your device. Advanced options are already in here for the, to wipe the Dalvik cache, but you also have just reboot recovery, uh, reboot to bootloader, which in this ROM it was king to add that. Uh, so that we could flash our radio files easier. easier. Uh, white battery stats. This is if you're having bad battery life. You could uh, wipe your battery stats, but what you're going to want to do is make sure your battery is fully charged uh, before you do this. Because um, it's going to basically reset it to make, you th make your phone know what is... 100%. So what you're going to have to do is discharge the phone, fully charge it, power it off, leave it plugged in, and then again fully charge charge it until it's full full, which uh, some devices don't fully charge unless it's completely off. Um, and then wipe your battery stats and then you should be good to go. And some have reported some better battery life using that. Um, Partition SD card, this is pretty much outdated now if you're using a modern day phone, but uh, before we had apps to SD, we could actually use a form of apps to SD by partitioning part of the SD card into EXT, and uh, as long as the ROM supported it, you could actually move um, some of the, the apps to the SD card to run them, uh, which was very useful on older phones, like I had a Hero before, and it only had like 170 megabytes of uh, app storage. Uh, this phone is a modern day phone. It has over two gigs, and that's not. I'm not going to run out anytime soon. So it was more of an issue on older devices with bigger apps and more apps coming to market. Now, if you're having issues with your, uh, let's say, you just uh, loaded a ROM and you're having a lot of forced closes, try fixing the permissions. This it'll, it takes just a little bit of time. In fact, I'll do it now since it's not going to harm anything on my phone. Uh, you fix the permissions and then reboot the phone. And most of the time, that will help some of the force closes. It doesn't always help. You might have another issue, um, but uh, it doesn't hurt to give this a try as it won't actually hurt anything. Uh, that's basic features that are in all recoveries. Your recovery options for most phones are either going to be an ARM on RA recovery or a clockwork mod recovery. Some also have the option of a team win recovery, which is what I prefer, and I will be flashing back to this phone as soon as this tutorial is over. Uh, that was just a basic tutorial on how to flash a recovery and how to um, uh, how to use them and what the different options are in the recovery and that will be it for now